Now in 4 part B we're asked to solve this differential equation just giving the general solution. Now to do questions like this what we need to do is separate the variables. In other words get all the x's to one side and all the y's to the other. Okay so how do we do that? Well what I'm going to do, rearranging this we could divide by y to both sides so that will give me 1 over y. Okay. What else could we do? We could divide both sides by 2x minus 3, x minus 1, and that's going to leave me with 2x minus 1 on this side over 2x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 1. I could leave the dy there and remove the dx, just put it up over here. Okay, so I've now separated the variables. We now need to integrate both sides. Okay, integrate this side with respect to y and integrate this side with respect to x. So what is the integral of 1 over y? Well the integral of 1 over y is the natural log of y. Okay, we'll put that in mod signs. Normally there will be a constant when you integrate but I'm going to leave that constant out. Imagine that it's taken to the other side and absorbed into this integral. So we just have equals and then we're faced with integrating this for this fraction. Well to integrate something like this requires partial fractions and really we could have guessed that just from the first part to be honest. Okay so integrating this is the same as integrating our partial fractions that we got. And if you remember from part A that was 4 over 2x minus 3. Okay, was one of the partial fractions. And the other one was minus 1 over x minus 1. So that's going to be minus the integral then of 1 over x minus 1. And that's integrated with respect to x. Okay, so we've got that. Moving on then, we have natural log of y equals, now integrating this, whenever I get a fraction, just check always to see whether the bottom differentiates to give essentially the top. If you differentiate the bottom you get 2 and that's just 2 times the top here. Okay, so that will be 2 times the natural log of 2x minus 3. Similarly in this one, differentiating the denominator x minus 1, differentiating that with respect to x just gives 1 and that's on the top here. So this will be just simply minus the natural log of the mod of x minus 1. And then don't forget that constant of integration plus c. Tidying this up, okay, I can leave this as natural log of y equals, now when you've got a natural log take a natural log, okay, you can use the subtraction rule which um, I hope you know, but the trouble is we've got this 2 in the front here and we're not allowed that so we can use the power rule for logs. Hopefully you remember that, that this is the same as the natural log of 2x minus 3 all to the power 2. Okay, just bring that number in the front up as a power. I'll put that in mod signs, okay, and then we have minus the natural log of x minus 1 plus c. Now we have natural log of something, take away natural log of something else, and so we can use the division rule. So that becomes the natural log of the mod of y equals the natural log of the mod then of 2x minus 3 all squared all divided by x minus 1. Okay? And then we have plus the constant c. And essentially that is our general solution. Okay? Our general solution is an answer that involves a constant. Alright? So in actual fact any one of these answers here would have been the general solution. Okay, so that brings us to the end to part B.